I was 20 years old and I was the assistant to the assistant of the chief assistant to the executive assistant of the executive producer. I was all that and a bag of chips. Oh. And I thought to myself, woohoo, I'm in the industry. I am this far away from being on the other side of the camera. Goodbye, Smallville. Hello, Brad. <laughs> well, after just six months in my dream job, the crash came. And suddenly, I was laid off. It was the worst day of my life. I thought the world had come to an end. Why was God doing this to me? Was she having a bad hair day? <laughs> the truth is, if that had never have happened, if I'd never been laid off, I would never have become a professional musician. And if I had never become a professional musician, I would never realized my dream of traveling around the world. If that had never happened, I would also have never had the opportunity to actually meet James Bond in Switzerland. <laughs> 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 okay, the Brad Pitt thing didn't work out. However, I also wouldn't be standing here at this conference telling you that change is really opportunity knocking. Have you ever noticed in your life when one door closes, another one always opens? Okay, we don't like it when the door slams in our face, but often that's what has to happen in order for us to get moving in the direction of our dreams. The question is, are you willing to walk through that door or are you going to stay behind and sit on your comfort zone? <laughs> Have you heard the song New York, New York played as a waltz? Can you just imagine them doing that on Dancing with the Stars? <laughs> the point is, just because you haven't heard it played that way, it doesn't make it bad or wrong. It just means there's another way to play the song. And so it is with life. There's always more than one way to look at a problem, find a solution, lose weight, or get a man. <laughs> and I'm so not going there. <laughs> they said, you need to change. I said, no, I don't. They said, you need a new topic. I said, no, I don't. I just need new clients. I had to let go of fear and resistance. I had to open up my mind to new ways of doing my business. Heck, I had to wake up and smell the Starbucks before I was forced to go work there. <laughs> I learned that fear is what you pass on the way to success. Don't let fear hold you back. If your company's going through changes, get excited about new possibilities and new opportunities. It was only then I realized it was Andrea Bocelli. <laughs> oh, right, and I'm so going to tell him how to sing. <laughs> the lesson I learned here was we should never judge a book by its cover. I mean, Andre Bocelli has his style and I have mine, and he's okay and I'm okay. But how many times have we all been guilty of doing that? Judging people by appearances. I wonder how much business we've lost. How many friends we could have made. We all need to open up our minds to change them about how we think people should be. And be willing to accept new people and new ideas and new ways of doing things. Especially in today's multicultural society. Look at me, for example. I'm an Aussie from down under. A lot of people think I talk funny. I think most people listen funny. 